Hey, what's going on, guys? We're going to go through our most anticipated storylines coming up in the year of 2017. I'm here with Mike. Uh, what is your, uh, what's your? What's the storyline that you're looking forward to the most coming up uh, in the new year? Yeah, so mine is, uh, it's obviously related to Raw, and it seems like over the past month or two, they have been teasing the reunion of The Shield more now than ever, as mm -hmm. all three guys are faces at the moment. You see tension over with Dean Ambrose on SmackDown. People are talking about wanting to leave Raw and go to SmackDown. Guys like Sami Zayn, who knows now what's going on there. Um, mm, yeah. But, uh, you know, uh, they triple powerbomb AJ Styles at Survivor Series. Um, the, the friction between Rollins and Reigns is gone. They're tagging together. They're getting along. Um, you know, how else are they going to get Roman Reigns over? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, and it seems like um, outside of Rollins, the careers of Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns have grown a bit stagnant. Um, yeah. And they could all benefit this. You can think of this as sort of like a we're shaking things up um, and we can do this every few years. Whenever guys' careers have grown stagnant, we can bring back a new um, and revitalized uh, edition of The Shield that includes moments of the, the past that we can remember, the nostalgic things that we love, but sort of integrates uh, the journeys they have been on uh, during in between those years, as well as um, pushing them into the types of careers that we hope they have after. Um, if you want to get, you could turn them heel, and you can actually take all the hatred they have towards Roman Reigns uh, and channel that now. You could take... Uh, Dean Ambrose, and you can actually truly make him psychotic again for the first time uh, in a way that um, works for him more because uh, two or three years away from something and working as an individual will give you more talent, more perspective, uh, and more ability to tell a better story. And frankly, I think Seth Rollins, uh, as much as I'm loving him as a heel, is actually, or as a face, I actually love him more as a heel. I think he's better in that role. Um, and so allowing each one to be develop a new identity to re-engage the storylines that we all loved and are looking forward to uh, can actually rejuvenate all three of them. Um, less so for Rollins, but especially for Ambro uh, Am Ambrose and Reigns. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, and uh, mine kind of goes with that. Um, my most anticipated storyline coming up is one that is just – hanging out there. We don't know what's going on, but it's Triple H coming back. Uh, we know that Seth Rollins and Triple H are going to be fighting, I would guess, at WrestleMania. Uh, so that means that we're going to have to wait even longer for the payoff. But we don't know why he gave Kevin Owens the title. Uh, we know pretty much why he pedigreed Roman Reigns for the WrestleMania stuff. But why did he turn on Seth Rollins? Is there going to be some kind of integration of the storyline that you're anticipating, the S.H.I.E.L.D. reunion, is that going to come into play in this Triple H story somehow? Um, is Dean Ambrose possibly going to turn on the guys? Um, you know, we don't really know what's going on, and that's WWE's fault because they basically just kind of dangled this carrot out there with Triple H and uh, Seth Rollins and uh, Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns, and they've got all these people in the mix, and then Triple H just disappears. You know, so I'm interested to see what the payoff is on that. Um, you know, it has to be more than just a WrestleMania match. They're, they've got to have something behind it that's meaningful that is going to either push Seth Rollins forward, like put him in that next step up, you know, because I think he's he's one of the better talent that they have on the show right now. So is this feud with Triple H going to elevate him or is it going to elevate multiple people? Yeah, um, well, and, 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 and my hope for this uh, um, is that it can also rejuvenate Ra. That sure, um, yeah. that Triple H can bring back a new rejuvenated version of the Authority. I mean, it doesn't seem like that's going away from the Monday Night Raw storylines. Mm -hmm. So having him bring back a new vitality and energy uh, to go against. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind because uh, this is how much I believe in Triple H that Triple H could be what Vince McMahon was to Stone Cold Steve Austin. Sure. Yeah. You know, and if you take a guy like Seth Rollins. Uh, that Seth Rollins, I think, has that a uh, very similar uh, talent as Stone Cold Steve Austin. And I know that's saying a lot because, you know, St Stone Cold is you know one of the true greats of all time. If there's a Mount Rushmore, he's on it. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and um, 
a, what Rollins doesn't have um, the same level of charisma, he makes up for it by being thirty times the worker. Um, mm-hmm. And I and I and I and I look forward to seeing what Triple H does with that. Yeah, and you know Triple H has been involved in so many stables over his career. Um, he's he's been on his own, but he's been in you know the corporation. He's been in DX, of course. He's been in Evolution. Um, you know, and I think it would be really cool if they did something where they got all all of the Shield members together, and Triple H had his group of people as well. Like maybe he's in charge of the club or something yeah. like that. Well, they kind um, of tease that with Braun. Yeah. So, you know, I think that if he is the one that ends up bringing in, you know, the Adam Cole um, and maybe bringing AJ Styles over and getting, you know, uh, Gals and Anderson involved or whatever they want to do, but have him being the one that, you know, they can even push like the NXT stuff. Like he's been around the world. He's been making deals with everyone to bring people into um, NXT or uh, bring them into WWE. And he's the one that told them all, like he wanted to bring the entire club in so that they could dominate the WWE, something like that. Yeah. Um, You know, and then with all of the stuff with Reigns and Rollins, like it can be personal. And at the same time, you have two stables that are going after each other. Um, and that can last for however long. So just off the top of my head, that would be something that they could do. That would be cool. Yep. Um, you get the shield back together, which everyone would love. And then you have the, the heel stable as well. And they're going to be, you know, butting heads for however long. And then, you know, uh, it's just, you need to make sure that all the other people aren't left in the dust. You yep. have to do something with them as well. So. Third storyline. When Roman Reigns finally crushes the career of Braun Strowman, Braun Strowman starts the new version of the Rose Buds. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> He'll have to go to sensitivity training. <laughs> He'll actually like write poetry or whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. He'll probably get a phone call from Adam Rose, yeah. uh, you know, saying what's up from the Indies and maybe he'll go back over to the Wyatts where, you know, him and Rowan tag team. Yeah, there was something on Twitter that Adam you know, Adam Rose is coming back, so who oh, knows? Great. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, those are our uh most anticipated um, returns and storylines going to 2017 and, and what we want to see. So let us know what you guys want to see in the coming year, any storylines that you're looking forward to or people that may be coming back or anything like that. Let us know your thoughts on WWE and the future. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking this out. We'll talk to you next time. Thanks. All right. I don't know if we can get through any more of these and before uh, midnight. Okay. So we'll call it quits then. All right. Yeah, I'll probably have another night uh, 